Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the ultimate all-in-one jailbreak tool that called the Windbrain that support iOS 12 to the 14.8.1, iOS 15 as well as for the latest iOS 16. And the best part about this method, it's a complete standalone application for your Windows system. So no need of Macs, no need of ISO file, no need of Linux system just a single standalone windows application and that will do the complete jailbreak with tweak injection so that you can install the package manager and enjoy the full experience of the jailbreak on the latest ios 16 15 down to the ios 12 so we will talk about each and everything in this video about this new jailbreak tool also we will talk about what are the devices that are compatible so just follow this video and if you love watching these kind of videos just hit the like button and if you're new here just subscribe to the channel so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right first step you need to disable the driver signature enforcement on your windows system and also turn on the windows test mode so for that you can visit my blog there are already article written so you can just follow it there are mainly two methods you can disable the driver signature first by the startup settings also you can disable it by the cmd command so the command is also written on my blog so you can just copy paste on their cmd terminal and after that it will disable it and then just restart your system and you will see the test mode on your desktop and the windows driver signature will be disabled Now this is important because we have to install some third party drivers and allow it during the jailbreak process. So it's better if we can disable the driver signature first so that you will not face any error during the jailbreak process. Now the next step you will require the iTunes directly from the official Apple website. Do not install the Microsoft Store version otherwise you will face some issues. So make sure you will install from the direct official website so that you will get the right iTunes version for this process. Once everything is set, you are ready to use the Windrain. So now you can see that there are two versions. One is the old 1.0 and the currently the latest version is 1.1. You can download all these files for free from the description blog link. You will get all the direct links there. So once you open it, you will see three options mainly. First is the checkmate to load the untrusted images so that you can do the pawn DFE mode and load the RAM disk. Next option, it has the check print 0.12.4 built in so that you can jailbreak your older iOS version like iOS 12 to the 14.8.1 from the iPhone 5s to iPhone X and other iPad model that support the checkmate exploit. And now the third and the last option that is the checkprint Pongo S 1337.1 version. Also it comes with a Pelrain loader so that you will get the full complete rootless jailbreak with the Pelrain loader and comes with a Celio package manager but the current Pongo OS that I'm using in this jailbreak is the 0.1337.1 that is currently old the latest version is 1337.2 but maybe in future the app will update and you will get the latest Pongo OS also and the Pelrain latest version is version 2.0.0 beta 7 so in future if the new update come it will directly reflect in the Winrain version so always use the latest Winrain version currently Currently the latest version is 1.1 that having some bug fixes so you can just read the latest change log here in the readme file also there are some driver load issue fixed so you can check out that so you just need to change the path of the environmental variable and fix this driver issues i will just tell you how you can fix that easily without changing all the settings so just stay tuned in the video so everything is written there you can pause the video and read it out or otherwise i will put it on my blog so you can just check them out there and it works on the checkmate and the Pelrain jailbreak so the device compatibility is the A11 chipset to the lower so you can jailbreak iPhone 5s to iPhone X and other iPad model that support the checkmate exploit and some important things if you have a A11 devices you cannot set the passcode like on the 8, 8 plus and iPhone X and the clean restore will be required before jailbreaking the 11 devices so all the important things are in the Pelrain jailbreak are, are same in this Winrain jailbreak also so you can just read all the chain logs on the screen and after that we can proceed for the jailbreak and if you need more information about the Pelrain jailbreak just check out my dedicated video on those you will get the complete information and if you face some drivers or trigger issue i will just show you how you can fix that easily in the single click so now for this video i will be showing you the latest jailbreak ios 16.6 on my iphone 8 a11 device 
for iOS 15 and the lower iOS 12 to the 14.8.1 I will make the separate dedicated video so first connect the device and make sure that there is no passcode set on the A11 devices before or after the jailbreak and the clean restore is required for the A11 devices if you face any error you can just clean restore and after that you can proceed and also one important settings you need to check before you go through the jailbreak when you connect your device in the normal mode or the DFU mode check out the Apple USB or DFU driver version make sure it will be old driver version for the 2017 if you have the new driver iTunes just uninstall it and after that it will take the old drivers automatically or you can click the fix driver option on the tool so it will fix the drivers automatically and install the old one for you once everything is set you can click on next and proceed for the jailbreak it will put your device automatically to the recovery mode if you face any error just reconnect it and trust the device and after that you will see your device will go into the recovery mode now next stage you have to put your device into the DFU mode so follow the instruction on the screen you will get the instruction according to your device model so it's just kind of a check print thing so you can just follow the instruction from the recovery to DFU and after that the jailbreak will be started so now you can see there is the important driver installation click on the install anyway that's why we have first disabled the windows driver signature so that you can install all the third party drivers in a single click if that option is enabled in the first you will face some issues Now sometimes the jailbreak will be failed and you will see the trigger issues. This is because this app is still in the beta so there are some bugs. So you just need to retry the process. Just open the app again and proceed and it will go further. So you just need to retry the process. Just open the app again and proceed further and if you still face the issue just change the USB port or cable or you can clean restore your device and then you can continue. Once everything is done, you will see the Pongo is running on your device and you can check out that it is completely loading the success exploit and the jailbreak is completed. You will see the success bar option on the tool also. Now you can see that the device is on. Now connect with a fast Wi-Fi and you will see the Palren loader on your home screen. So it's there just open it now you can see i'm running on the latest ios 16.6 on my iphone 8 with the pelerin loader is coming here now you can easily install the bootstrap and install the latest package manager available here it comes default by the celio package manager also you can install the troll store by installing the ipa file now just wait here to install the bootstrap and the package manager that is celio Now it's done, go back and you will see the Celio on your home screen, allow it and after that you will see Celio is successfully installed and we are complete rootless jailbreak on the latest iOS 16.6 on my iPhone 8 that is the A11 devices. You can jailbreak A11 device and lower models that support the checkmate exploit, above A11 chipset are not supported. Now you can install any tweaks that are supported or you can add the repo that are compatible with the bootstrap so everything works good and this is the semi tethered jailbreak so if you reboot the device you need to re jailbreak again with the same app and after that your tweaks and Celio will restore again and if you have a 11 device do not set the passcode otherwise it will reboot and your device will need a clean restore to again process the jailbreak and other devices will work with the passcode like lower models so that is all for the all-in-one tool that is WinRain. I hope you're enjoying my content. If yes, just hit the like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for more cool updates. I will see you in another video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.